thought that was a bigger bag than I thought I did. Anyway, so to start with, we're going to look at Windows 3.1 game. Yeah, here we go. A Cyberflix game. Probably their most famous one that for some reason I've just actually never played. Well, that's not fair. I did play a little bit of it in 1997 on someone else's computer on um, uh, one of the laptops in the other classes. Oh, if you only wanted two of the ship, click here. Yeah, that's nice, but let, let's go for the mission. Once again, today's top stories. London has endured another night of German bombing. Uh -huh. Most damage was concentrated in the East End. The oh. RAF has struck enemy aerodromes in La Havre and the Low Countries. In Russia, further German losses are reported around boat. Leningrad. In Asia, the American fortress at Corregidor is still defiant, but Japanese forces well, are still, what, nearing the Burmese 12... oil fields. And that concludes the news summary. No, wait. We now return you to our music program. 14... 14 hours and about 20-ish minutes. Um... So we'll, we'll, we'll see, uh, what's that called, uh, we'll see. Oh, look, our memories are the, about the Titanic sinking and 1250 people perish. That's a nice round number. I saw it go down. The story of one man's survival. No word yet on the Astors and a first-hand account. Cool. My memory book only has one memory in it. Yeah. Okay, so there's my... Once again, today's top stories. London now has endured another away. night of German bombing. Most damage was oh. concentrated in the no East more. End. The RAF has struck people. enemy aerodromes you know, in La Havre and, and the Low Countries. In oh. Russia, further German... Cool. Thanks, lady. Gotta go full of bugs. Okay. I think... This is probably one of the earliest times I've seen was sad being used. Because this is uh, keyboard controls. Hello, love. You look uh, nice. Got ourselves some C's. Oh, some piggies. I heard you back from France. I hope you'll even the score yet with the bastard who fired you. Sorry to bring it up, but I think you were treated horribly. No references, no pension. What will you do next? Keep me posted, Jack. Oh, another note from my mate Jack. Looks like war in Europe, doesn't it? Situation here, nervous. French is still wine, women and singing, if as usual. Uh, what will you do if there's fighting? Keep fixing watches. Seriously, I don't know. Uh, seriously, I know whatever happened on the Titanic was bad, but it was 25 plus years ago. You can't change the past. Look ahead. We'll talk when I return. Cheers, Jack. Oh, there's another postie. Oh. Dearest. Oh, having a fine time. Ran into Jack in Bombay, who's worn. Oh, he's worried about you. Uh, says he hasn't heard from you since you left the the thing. I I told him you're repairing clocks. Are you well? Such an odd choice for someone with your skills jack to daddy when you jack to daddy that does look like d-a-d-d-y jack to daddy when sure oh, we're sure we sure through a something with his Firm something beastly something love 
Dina, who doesn't know how to fucking write. Clearly. Look, we everyone has their interests. We're meant to be able to read that? Apparently so. It's not like, what's it called, the other one where, where, you know, if you remember we were playing, I think it was Amber, and like we were having troubles. Jack to Daddy? No, that doesn't make, no. I think Jack to Daddy makes more sense than Jack to Daddy. Oh, it could be Dandy, but... No, it looks like it's got a, a stick up that, that hits the, um, hits the Y. Uh, what's going on over here? Nazi bombers hit the city, yeah? Oh, I'm a bit of a grub. What's in my cupboards? Scrubber! And some roaches. And some cobwebs. I am a grot. Oh. Mama's enriched spaghetti. Household milk, household milk, yeah, in cans. Custard. Pure dried eggs. I'm um, guessing that's rhubarbs, not boss bards. Boss bards. So we're basically just getting from this is that this is a grim man's existence. Sneaking out, are you? I want me money. Uh, yeah, I'll close that. We're not we're not sneaking out, love. Something. Oh yeah, hang on. Hindenburg. Yeah, okay. We're going from Frank Frankfurt to Lakehurst. Oh, cost us seven seven bucks. Uh, wouldn't that have been pounds? His Majesty's government regrets to inform you that your services in the office of the Secret Service are no longer needed. Termination to be effective immediately. I am a dickhead. Commander T.S.D. Hipple. I'm the Hipple man. Everybody loves my Hipple ways. See here. This isn't about your dedication. Oh. Pringle certainly attests to your loyalty. Yes, Pringle. Your, your dismissal delicious. stems from the Titanic mission. That failure can no longer be ignored. Especially now. I am sorry. But someone must shoulder the blame. Cool. The service, you understand. Understand. We can't be held responsible. Cool. It's here. Wreck on the Titanic. No, on the Titan. The wreck of the Titan fut on. The wreck of the Titan on futility. Okay. Lord and Lady Lambeth. Lord and Lady Lambeth have died in the Titanic disaster. The couple have been missing since the sinking and were not amongst the survivors rescued on the Carpathia last Monday. Many of the rescued attest to the, seeing the couple together before it sank. The white, st uh, yes, the white star line will confirm only that the Lamberts were passengers on the ocean liner. There were no children. Lady Lambeth was the daughter of the late Duke of Norwick. She, something probably the most lavish. I'm guessing that they had a child. In a well, London, he's watching you, but, uh... We're going down, kids. Oh. oh boy. And now we're dead. Or are we? The past 
forever locked in regret. But what if the past could be changed? What if the past was future? Thirty years have come and gone since the night that saw the end of a world, my world. The service needed someone on the Titanic. They and chose me. And I didn't go. I was to wait for a signal from my contact. So, contact? I remained in my cabin. I left only once. Georgia was on board. And that's when it came. There'd be no second chance. It was Sunday. April 14th. <laughs> Too late, you see. <laughs> so Wimbley, who made this choice? Yes. The Bill Appleton made this I choice. Met with my contact, Maybe Todd. Prevented disaster. What if the past could so be Wibbly. changed? What they then? had wibble jobs. Shut up. Aboard the RMS Titanic. What we got? Ooh, Odell's various oysters, consomme Olga cream of Bali, salmon, mousseline sauce, cucumber, filet mignon lily, saute of chicken lyonnaise, vegetable marrow francois. Uh, Francis the Fasses? Fas fra Frakis. Lamb with meat sauce. What the fuck is just meat sauce? It give you lamb, it has a sauce of meat. Um Well lamb is a sauce of meat. S O U R C E. Uh Ross Duckling apple sauce, cellulose of beef, chateau potatoes, green peas, creamed carrots, boiled rice. Parameter and boiled new potatoes. Punch romaine. We punch the we punch the lettuce. Raw squab with cold asparagus vinaigrette. Pate de foie gras with celery. Waldorf pudding. Peaches and chartreuse jelly. Chocolate and vanilla and clairs. French ice cream. Did you get that the, the chef was French? Get a bag. As opposed to purple peas. Yes. Well, I mean, you never know. Okay, so there is, we have a key. We have a key. We have a key. Yeah, yeah. Is it this door? Good evening. Oh, I love this. I am Smethels, your oh. steward. Smethels. And if I may say so, it is good to see you up and about. Oh, thank you. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. A touch of the Maldon Mare, was it? Yeah, a bit of seasickness, yeah. Seasickness can yeah. be quite unpleasant. I, yeah, we got that. You especially if it's down. one's first crossing. Yes. Since you haven't been out of your cabin, may I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? Yes. Very good. We of the White Star Line hope that your stay on board Titanic is as relaxing as possible. As you explore the ship, please bear in mind the following advice. Cool. The mouse is your hands. The oh. keys, your feet. If you find the screen too dark or too bright, follow the directions on the control screen help panel or consult your manual on adjusting your monitor. Sir, are to you trying to control panel help and other features, click on the life preserver at the bottom of the screen. The control panel has a help button, as well as a quit and save game feature. You may also adjust the volume. Test the settings by clicking on the black knob. You may also switch the theme music on or off. Yeah. After making any adjustments, but, click but I love OK this type of, to return uh, to your what's current it called? Game. Facial expression so much. I want to know how it's actually put together. If you notice together. a hand, it indicates something but to click this on. man arches his brow too may much. May I suggest you do so. Several personal items in your room, a brown satchel, and a pocket watch, okay, are quite well. useful to you during your voyage. Cool. Take them with you. You shall want to converse with other passengers. If you fail to understand them, click on their face. 
They will repeat their last sentence. Oh, nice. The purser. His office is on C deck, just off the forward grand stairs. Cool. The elevator, or lift as we call it, lift. has an attendant who can direct you to various sections of the ship. The lifts are located behind the forward grand staircase. Lastly, you may always find me by returning to your cabin, C-73, and ringing the bell to the right of the door. Seventy-three. Your correspondent. Oh. 2,200 on board, and they all want messages delivered yes. promptly. Even if it is 1912, and the Titanic, the most advanced means of sea conveyance ever devised, I still have only two hands. I would go with more Scottish person trying to be posh English. 2,200 on board, and they all want messages delivered yeah, yeah, yeah. promptly. Meet me by Even the if it is 1912, camera. and the Titanic, the most advanced means of sea conveyance ever did. Yeah, 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 go. Off you go. Here, a map of the ship for you. Oh, thank you. Compliments of the White Star Line. Yes. I have taken the liberty of indicating your cabin, C-73. Of course, on a Sunday evening at this hour, there won't be many people out. Cool. Will there be anything else? Not for the moment, no. Um, that will be all. Uh, what is the electric camel? The electric camel? An exercise device. Oh. They say it is good for the liver. I wouldn't know. It's let's, located let's in the gymnasium on the boat deck on the starboard side. Okay, cool, That's thank you. the right side. Yes, in yes, case yes. you had not been informed. I've been on a boat before. Um Very good. Thank you. Have you unpacked? You'll find your trunk key in your bag on the bed. Yes, I got that. Much. And remember your personal effects, your watch and bag. Thank, thank if you. If you require additional assistance, please ring the bell by the door. Alright. Well. Good night. Night. I will find my pee pee. Oh, there's the trunk. Okay. Come on. Whee! The city's government has assigned an agent of the Crown to rendezvous with you on board the Titanic. Cool. Remain in your cabin until your contact gives you further instructions. After completion of all your assignments on board, book passage to remain on the ship and return to Southampton for your next assignment. Cool beans. For a more in-depth report of the international situation in the spring of 1912, please review the white paper included as part of this briefing. That is all. We'll do. Okay. Any of these drawers alive? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Austria Hungary. Back when they were known as the one. And then the Austrians said, no, we don't want you. <laughs> That's not what happened. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Alkia. Um, Central Powers. Neutral, British Allies, Cool Beans. The spring of 1912, Europe is the dominant center of the civilized world. Bustling with energy and power, it is also a, a house of cards, cobbled together. This is uh, what's it called? Titanic, a venture out of time, cobbled together by diplomats and old dynasties at the Congress of Vienna uh, in 1815 to restore order after dis devastating Napoleonic wars. The structure of national of nation states has endured for nearly a century, but a crumbling subterranean threatens to plunge. All we have built in the abyss of a mecha mechanized global war. S despite such a dangers, the English liberals' intellects, yes, right, this music is a bit overpowering, and progressive businessmen who choose to believe the sanguine writer Norman Angwell. His book, The Great War's Illusion, has become a publishing phenomena. Uh, I will fix that in a moment. No, I shall fix it now. We'll come back here. Give me the give me the controls. Volume. Ooh, subtitles on, please. Um. No, 
that, that, okay, we're already at low. Okay, let me get Wavelength open. Oh, yes, there's a birth. High up. Here we are at 69%. I think that's a bit better, don't you? I should put this over here. Okay. Um, okay. What was I was reading? Reopen, please. Okay, where were we? Despite such dangers, English liberals, uh, intellects, and progressive businessmen choose to believe the sanguine writer Norman Angwell. His book, The Great War, has become a publishing phenomena, electrifying the Oxford campuses with his postulate, War is unthinkable. A modern war would be terrible, so disruptive, oh, and so disruptive, of the global economic system, he says, that both victor and vanquished should be devastated. Global finance and e economic independence is so great, he argues, that no nation would risk war. But nothing is further from the truth, as you shall read. In fact, peace totters on the brink, pushed over the edge by Europe's economic and colonial rivalries and a system of competing alliances. The central powers of Germany and Austria-Hungary stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with loose and more ambiguous associations, the ally of the Triple Entin, comprising Great Britain, France, and Russia. Meanwhile, the Balkans, uh, in the Balkans even, uh, the contending forces of Slav nationalism and great power expansion may well provide the fuel for a terrible inferno. There is hope, however. London politicians may be pessimists, but Britannia still rules over the waves, and trade, and banking, and the realm of ordained self-confidence. Our vast overseas empire stretches from Suez to Cape Town, from Persia to Burma, and with treaty ports in China, we are linked by language, culture, and commerce with the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Our chief rival is Germany. Her leader, the Kaiser, has doubled her army since 1892 and races to build a navy to rival the British fleet. Germany trades policies, tariffs, and enlightened social welfare services, and a large, dynamic, well-educated labor force now boast an efficient, modern industrial system that outbids and undersells Britain around the world. Secure her position. Germany forged military alliances with Austria-Hungary in 1870. Blah, 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 blah. The result is blah, 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 blah. And we continue to do so. <laughs> it's just, it's so much. It's so much. I guess, you know, this is all for people who don't have a general understanding of what happened in World War One and World War Two. I mean, what's it called? This, I mean, it still kind of feeds into World War II, but mostly it's uh, World War One. As the players line up toe-to-toe, -to -toe, their armies are poised to defend both national honor and questionable allies while their presses rave at a fever pitch. All that's needed is one key event to plunge Europe into war. The world watches to see which side will blink first. For nearly a century, someone always has end. Yeah, we want to trust making a historical game, but we do not trust our players to be educated. Yeah, I see why you've skipped the text logs in, in Dead Space. I, 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 you know me, I like reading stuff out, but that was a chunky, chunky chunk. So much chunk. Okay. We will remember this. No, no, no. I'm looking for the watch. Where's the watch? Oh, not what I was after, but nice to know. Watch must be somewhere else in this room. Maybe it's on the comfortable couch. No, it's not. Is my watch here? What, the squirrel on your balcony read a really long um, document about World War One? Oh, there's the watch. Yay! I got my watch! He's a very nice. He's a very nice. Meet me tonight on the deck. Tell no one. Georgia. 
I want to jerk off your... I mean, I want to meet you, you distinguished man, you. Oh, it was chunky, I see. Okay. Grand staircase. Memory of uh, what Dave and I were looking at with Titanic. Um, oh, there he is. There's the person. How you doing, mate? Are you wondering about? There is a card game in progress in the smoking room. Cool beans. Held by a French gentleman. Cool beans. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is is he a good player? Oh, I would never play games with the French. They cheat. The, well, thank you, Smith Hells. Or the Meth, meth's hell. I suggest you contact the importunate Miss Pringle. Miss if you're Pringle. in a hurry, there are lifts for fast ascension and descension. Oh, thank you. They're behind these stairs. Yes. Good night. Ooh, he arched his eyebrow when he said that. Uh, hi. Evening. Evening. Uh, attendant. And you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. Where to? Um. Hmm. Uh, hey, I want to go up. Mind the gate. Mind the gate. It's a cold night, this. Pretty much everyone's early to bed. Early to Next rise. Is your much easier. Your deck now. Uh, well, thank you. Oh, thanks. Dismiss Pringles and crunch to your lunch. I mean, once you pop. You can't stop. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. Don't think we've met. I'm Leyland Sacum Trask, metaphysical scribe and evangelist for the supernatural. I'm an American. I've been in London attending a conference on premonitions among the sensitive. A, co a competing elevator operator services in this ship. Like he has to do an advertising speech like that. Yeah, may or maybe he's he's competing with the stairs. What's a sensitive? Sensitives or psychics possess increased powers of perception. A cool. gifted psychic can take a personal effect from a complete stranger and and tell you all about them. Hmm. What do you predict for the uh, Titanic, mate? This is a ship of destiny, which I. Think you know. Oh. Are your predictions reliable? There's a range, of course, but given the right training, psychics can reveal information hidden to others. Mm-hmm. Cool. Good night. Good night. There! So I can't talk to them, but they just look at me like, yes. And you're right, only half an hour before the psychic power showed up. Gymnasium! Ah, there she is. Our favorite PP. Yep, oh, she walked towards us. It's about time. You're late. I was reading about World War One. <laughs> I'm sorry for being late, love. What a botch up. Some idiot in the war office booked me into second, not first class. <gasps> and I've had a fine time of it, too. The crew wouldn't let me in the first cabin at all. <gasps> it's just today I located you. So it's not my fault that this didn't go down till now. What do you want to tell me? Look at this. It's your balls. I mean, what? A German Ooh. colonel named Zeitel. I've taken He's my meds, thank you. Their embassies in Havana, Washington, and Mexico City. That's why I'm eating we this bun. For my stomach. I'm guessing you saw that I, I put myself into withdrawal during the week. It happened. Um. Alright. Oh, I missed what happened with the subs. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I see you've got the, sec the the German that you think is sexy. Uh, what do you want me to do about it? 
Ten days ago, the Bureau got word that Zeitel has in his possession a priceless copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. Ooh, the Rubaiyat! Seen two months ago in Paris after its purchase by a very highly placed member of His Majesty's government. You must go and jerk it off. Tell me about the Rubaiyat. The Rubaiyat's a book, a collection of medieval Persian poetry, a passion of his lordship's. Mm. And it's going to be for code breaking, if I remember? The basic plot of Persian. what the Rubaiyat's for in this the German instance? High Command must think it's important enough to have their top man smuggle the lot on board. It talks about how they're all going to get psychic powers. It's your job to find out. Oh, okay. His lordship's watching this very closely. Very closely indeed. I wouldn't fumble this chance either, unless you fancy spending the rest of your career in some more to Titanic than Angels. Is there though? <clears throat> is there though? I mean there's the there's the um architecture porn, which is why people are off going doing tan jobs. What are the Germans up to? Have you seen the report? In your trunk. Yeah, I did. And it was long and boring. Situation. I'd jolly well read it if I were you. I did, but... Hey, is Zidal no. travelling alone? He's with a protégé. Name of Hedelitz, I believe. Hedelitz. The two spend a great deal of time in the Café Parisien. Is, nibbling. is she attractive? Oh, they're nibbling. Get into the wireless room. I don't know or care how. Officer Morrow wouldn't let me in. And he didn't want See me to jerk Zidal's him off. received or sent any telegrams about the Rubaiyat. Cool. You've got a cryptograph in your trunk. It'll unscramble the German codes for you. Cool. You use the brains God gave you. Watch people. Listen. Listen. When you find the Rubaiyat, knock on my door. Yes. Hey, Didi's free. Which cabin you in, Pee Pee? Cabin F, 34. Use the second class stairs. Oh. You should be set. Remember, this is your big chance. Don't fail cool beans off she goes to look at another wall do I get to exercise while I'm here oh the electric horse it's not really a camel you gotta have humps on it for it to be a camel but uh, I can imagine some ladies having fun with that You might also remember from the times that, uh... Actually, I don't know if Dave and I ever, uh, streamed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta punch the ball sack. Take out all my rage on this ball sack. Protect. Stop all vestibule. Oh, there's a new demo for it? Yeah, I think it, it was it was definitely Titanic um, Hope and Glory. Hang on, I'm just going to see that now myself. But then it looks like someone's left the... Oh, yeah, split into no one. Yeah. Titanic Hope and Glory. Uh, flagship, blah, 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 blah. Recreate 100% of Titanic with more visual details, historical accuracies, and gameplay capabilities than ever before. About. I click the About page, nothing's happening. Alright, I'll look at that later. Hello, sir. You can't go no further. Why not? Officer Moro's in no mood to accommodate passengers right now. Cool. He's misplaced his binoculars, and he's in a right proper state about it, too. And, and, and you're sleepy, I'm, I see. Go down to A deck. Way! Yeah, I think she made a video about this, yeah. Sounds about right. 
Well, it was whatever we had lying around. Wait, if we're talking about Terms of Titanic, was this... Nah, I was about to be like, was this where Rose was standing? No, but she was over there. She was at the back. Yeah, I, I would too. I don't mind the light speed. But, like, I, I like unlike some games, you know... Oh. Hello? Nope, they don't care about me. Can I get a little closer to them? No, nope, no. Nope. Okay, I just skipped past them. But sometimes, you know, things just, like, you know, pop. At least this kind of shows you where, you where you're going. The Grand Staircase. In we go. And there's the Psychic Man. Oh yes, this is, yep, we came up here. Um, let me look on my map. I want to go and, uh, meet Riviera. Because we met him in, in Wired. A Tale of the Digital West. First class reception. Oh, actually, is is. That's D-Deck. Can I just pump there? I mean, I can pop over there, which is close to it. My cabal! We'll check the dining saloon, which... Oh. I say, what's your step? Uh, hello? Heard, Henry. No harm done. No harm. I'm gonna call the Sorry. fucking lawyers. We're the Ghost Joneses from Halt Whistle, you know. How are you finding the crossing? Uh, very nice, thank you. You're English, then. <coughs> I'm not American. Australian, actually, oh, but. My, my. I didn't mean to insult you. Can't hold a thought. Dreadfully large place, America. Brain so, why are you going? All that space and all those immigrants trying to fill it up. Ah! Oh. Commenting to Henry on a white star crossing, one meets all the right people. Do they though? Were just chatting with a delightful elderly couple in the reception, the Strausses, wasn't that right? Own a small dry goods store in New York somewhere, called Macy's. Yeah. On D deck. Rabina, must you always finish my sentences? You're as jumpy as that American chap, that photographer. Yes, he was just snapping away. Taking he snapped our balls. Colonel and, and that Englishman. Snap, snap, snap. War's coming, all right. Mark my words. War? Huh? How beastly. Will Mr. Burns have to fight? Yes. He and his wife, such sweet things. And but Smithers. I see her point. It is their honeymoon. Why he insists on snapping those photos, I haven't a clue. For God's sake, woman, talk, 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 like a madam in a Rangoon bawdy house. Henry, that's unspeakable. You haven't been to one of those, have you, Henry? Yaps louder than a scrum of rabid corgi. Oh, God. Now, see here, this Burns chap. If you want you're you're just as bad as she is. Take a look at his pictures. He's on C deck, cabin C, 78. 78. Where he waits for you with bated breath. How do I get to the... Ah. Nope. So it must be this direction. Nope. This direction. Oh. Well, where am I? Am I not on D? Okay, so I'm here. How do I get to the first class room? You'd think there would be a door here. Nope. Alright, we'll go out onto the deck then, I guess. These doors are unclickable! And that one's closed. Alright. That will not be the place. Guess it's gonna be the little Parisian. Uh, here we go, Cafe Parisian. Oh, hi! Daisy Cashmore, surely you remember. I jerked you oh, off that once. <laughs> Don't think I didn't know you'd snuck on at Cherbourg. Ew. Smethels told me all about it. The old boy's always dripping with news. Dripping. Lord and Lady Lambeth. <laughs> Ruined utterly. Scared
scarcely enough left for appearances, I'm told. Mm -hmm. I always liked Georgia. Married Charles for his name and his fortune, sensible girl. But she's made her nest. Mm -hmm. Now she must live in it. Like a well, turd. Well, I mean, what? Tell me more. What do we think? Gorgeous, isn't it? Everyone's raving, gushing. The Titanic couldn't be more fabulous. Please don't say gushing and the again. Sailing couldn't have been more convenient. Everyone's here. The Astors, the George Wideners, the Countess of Ross, such a wonderful girl. Mm -hmm. The Strausses, I saw them on D deck tonight. The Ryersons, the Henry Harpers. The Henry the Harpers. Go on and on. There are a couple and called, the both so called Henry. Advanced. I was just saying to my dear friends, the Carters. There's just not enough lifeboats. A car, do you believe, in the cargo hold. <laughs> Bill Carter checks it daily. Really, every day he keeps the keys with the purse. I'm sure no one's going to fuck in it. The Carters are fantastically rich. Lucille doesn't understand the attraction at all. Mm. With men and machines, I tell her, we girls play second fiddle. Well. Yeah. Please continue. My dear, I have a little favor. A tiny, tiny, tiny one. Uh, please. Please don't talk about my penis like that. With pleasure. Tonight at dinner. A man I don't know was making eyes at me. Ooh. Be an absolute darling and find out who he is. Why should I do that? Look him up in the passenger list. All I know are his initials, G Q C. The list someplace. Find it. I'll wait right here. Uh, all right. Ta. Cool beans. We're not going to do that because we're just having a little squizzle squazzle at this. Is he here? Riviera! That's not you, Riviera. I believe it is not correct form to speak to those who have not been introduced. Oh. Good night. Okay, bye. I, I was looking for someone else. You locked all the doors, so do you want to just spend time with me, dear? Alright, let me grab the closest tome. That's not the time. That's an eyeshadow palette. That would be very strange. Ah, no. That's... That's the Lord Nemesis book. That's not what we're after. Right there. Oh, there it is. It's over there. So I was I was scanning some things earlier today, so not today. The other day. The days that are not today. Alright. <clears throat> True blue. I'm going with the, the reading this as but the, the, the music. True blue cyber flicks, erotic CD ROM videos. Cybersex software publishers are unanimous in pointing out that it it was the X-rated movie that went behind that finally made the home video successful. Tittles or titles even, like Deep Throat and Behind the Green Door, would be safely watched by anyone without having to dare enter some sleazy movie house, or more to the point, having someone you know see you going to a sleazy movie house. Or your mother-in-law, or your mother, or your partner. Of course, when it came to the video versions, there was always the problem of your kids finding out. Progress is never perfect. The cybersex publishers say that a similar relationship will arise between X-rated movies and CD-ROMs, and they say it with the certainty and the conviction of a true believer. They might be right if it is assumed that everyone can attain true joy watching movies the size of an index card, and that no one is too picky about how the movie sounds, or that you enjoy watching full screen um, screens filled with images of such low resolution that it's often difficult making out just what gender a person is in the tangle of bodies. Not all of the full-length films are being shoveled onto CD-ROMs are so limited, but there are quite a few quick-time quickies out there. Oh, quick-time quickies! Oh, boy. And a lot more might play a tad better if you could hear some audio. At one time, these were respectable and glamorous hardcore videotapes. 
but they've been unceremoniously dumped on, off onto the CD-ROM, often without thought being given to how computers play back video information or effort put into making the product fly. It's all been downhill for these products since their glory days on videotape. Once they piled their artistry on a 23-inch TV screen, now they're playing at one-sixth of a 14-inch monitor. Someday, X-rated movies will sell CD-ROMs, but right now they're a provocative oddity. An interesting oddity. How well? Oh, that's probably more than the one paragraph, unless someone wants to pay for another paragraph. Well, I say paragraph, but uh, it's really pages now, isn't it? Like B deck, C deck, D deck. Oh, oh, second class stairs. Maybe I can use that to get out onto the. That one's locked. He told me. That the what's that called was down here. Yeah, I'm just heading up. Hello, V deck. G deck? Maybe he's down there. No. F deck. Oh, can I go to the Turkish baths? Look at this fence. Oh my god, I have no reflection! I'm cursed to be the most beautiful person and no one will ever, well, I will never see. Let me try again, because what's his name? Smickwell. <laughs> Smithers? Smithers? Methel. It was Smithel. Excuse me, I would I would like to go to the parlor where there's the cards. I would like to meet the Riviera. Oh, hello. Please stop touching us, sir. Oh, hello. Hey. Where was that card? Where was the cards? I want to find a certain room or person. The purser. His office is on C deck. Just off the forward grand stairs. Oh, so he's nearby. The elevator, or lift. lift as we call it, has an attendant who can direct you to various sections of the ship. Cool beans. The lifts are located behind the forward grand staircase. Okay. Where's the poiser? Not that door. Not that door. Does he have a... No. Who's in the Poise's office? You said he had a little forward office. Off the... That's why I was thinking it was that one, but... That door don't open. Neither... We will never find Riviera. How do you manage to land on every floor? Land on every floor? Yeah, maybe I'll ask him to see where to. I need directions. I'm the man to ask. Yep, yeah, um. Uh. Uh. Hmm. The promenade! Uh. The Scotland Road. Okay, this is now looped around.
the smoking room. Maybe he's in the smoking room. Get off on a deck. Okay. Walk outside and head aft towards her stern into the aft grand staircase. The smoking room doors are those closest to the ship's stern. Cool. Where do you need to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me where Scotland Road is. I'd like to. We'll, we'll, we'll take food to his people. Take my lift to D deck. Take the doors beneath the stairs. Go down one flight to E deck. You'll see the signs to Scotland Road. May I take you somewhere? Yeah, um, what was it? D deck? Oh, I'll stay Good here, thanks. I think I'm already on D deck. You said take the stairs down, but... Oh, there it is. You said you'll see the signs. Oh, Scotland Road! Let's find all the Scottish people. Scottish people? All the best people in the world, where are you? Why do, why do the Scotsmen... Where, where, where are the Scotsmen? There's the engine room. That's caught it off. Ooh. Now, now, Fu hasn't played a bagpipe in his life. That I know of. He has tossed no <laughs> he has tossed some things though. Um A deck. Is he here? There's some people here. Hello, is anyone here ri called Riviera? I don't know you, nor do I want to. Leave me or I shall summon a steward. Cool beans. Oh, actually, they don't allow women in here. I'm just going to say the sexist thing to see what she reacts. Tell me. Do you approve of women who smoke? I do. I mean, no, I'm... I mean, from a health point of view, no, but, uh, you, you, you did look like, uh, you enjoyed that. Tell me more. I must stop our chat here. I've other concerns. My maid, she's left us. Oh. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, good night. I love your hat. Oh, she's gone. Ah. So there's Riviera. Do, chaps, either of you want to talk to me? No. You, however. Good evening, mon ami. Buick Riviera welcomes you to the tables. Mm. You look familiar. We make a meeting before. Dovi, the casino at Monaco, New Mexico. Do you remember the Wide I West? Yes, Diamondback. In Diamondback. Such a town. In Diamondback. So, have we met? Yes, we met at the Hard Drive Saloon. C'est vrai. Then we shall use my special cards. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like, would you like me to help you find her? Oh, we're gonna play blackjack? Alright. Uh... Hmm. Stay. Ugh. Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> oh, were you not here for, uh, I mean, I, I think we streamed you like to play again? Wired on, um, Dave's channel. Did he, because, uh, what's it called? Wired, uh, Wired, A Tale of the Digital West. Was it Digital West? Uh, it, it, it was, it was, it was crazy. I loved it. There was a, 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 a posh girl called Marie. Oh, I loved Marie. Um, they they call they they call her the Black Marie. 
She was yeah. not. Monami? Yeah, 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 mate. Um, she was not pure. Uh, but I loved her with a passion. Um, <laughs> there, it's it's a very strange, strange tale. Let, let's play another hand, mate. Okay, what you giving me this time? Oh, I'm gonna stay because I don't know what my other card. Is. Fifteen. Bust! I won. Well played. You are the winner. I am the Another winner. Hand, mon ami? Yes. I'm not playing for money. Three. Hit me. Seven. Hit me. Uh, eleven. Stay. Yes. You win. Thank you. Again. One more. In your beautiful presence. Oof. So, uh, hit. Single hit. Yeah, that'll do. Twelve. Shit. Yeah, that would have been an eighteen if I'd left Fortune. it. Fortune. She favors me. Fortune favors the bird. You like to play again? Oh, one more. <laughs> what do I have? A king! I shall stay. Ah, shit. Bust. Shit. Uh, I have one as you see. Je regret. No, je ne no, no, no. I, I, I would just keep playing bon cards with you for the rest of the game if, Good night. if that was the case. Anyway, we will leave this here because this was just a taste. I might come back and play this fully at some point, but uh, it is discovery. We, we discover the dos. Well, Windows 3.1 ran in DOS, so I'm, I'm counting it. Uh.